The Omega Speedy Pro is famous for being the first watch worn on the moon. However, nine years before the Apollo flights, seven astronauts were chosen for the Mercury project. Today, we'll look at their watches. Al Shepard won the contest to be the first man in space and piloted the Freedom 7 on the 5th of May 1961. He didn't wear a watch and nor did Gus Grissom when he guided the Liberty Bell 7 to a suborbital height of 190.4k on the 21st of July that year. It was John Glenn who actually wore the first timepiece in space on the 20th of February 1962 on board the Friendship 7, completing three Earth orbits. At 20 seconds from liftoff, it's recoded on the mission transcript that he starts a backup clock. It's believed it was an air stopwatch, reference 2915A, that Glenn was referring to. Of course, Omega enthusiasts would not be over the moon, <laughs> you see what I did there? But Air were absolutely ecstatic. Omega fans say, well it was only a stopwatch, not a real watch. But of course Air timepieces were synonymous with motor racing and hence the timekeeper of choice for John Glenn. Outside of the space missions, Glenn had a fascinating collection of watches ranging from Hamilton, Le Coultre, and Bulova. Scott Carpenter was next in space on the Aurora 7 on the 24th of May 1962. Now Carpenter approached Breitling in 1961 and requested a watch with a 24 hour scale as a 12 hour scale would be useless given the lack of concept of night and day in space. The Navitimer Cosmonaut was delivered to Carpenter just three days before launch and this wood watch could be as famous as the Speedy had Breitling not committed a marketing faux pas by calling it after the Russian cosmonauts. The Omega Speedmaster also made it to space a good seven years before it was the first watch on the moon. Wally Shearer wore it on his Sigma 7 Mercury flight on October 3rd of that year when he orbited the Earth six times. Shearer was the only astronaut to fly on all three NASA programs, Mercury, Gemini and Apollo, and received a gold speedy BA145.022, also known as the Apollo 11, to mark his achievements in 1969. Now Gordo Cooper also wore the 6K2998 when he flew on the Fate 7 mission on May 15th, 1963, orbiting the Earth 22 times before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. He also wore a Bulova Accutron astronaut worn by NASA test pilots in 1961. Cooper manually manoeuvred the craft into re-entry, stating later he used his watch to time the manual burn, which guided the craft out of orbit. Unfortunately, we don't know which watch he used. So in conclusion then, I loved researching this project. We have only just examined the Mercury era of space exploration and the watches thereof. And we can already see that there is so much more of interest than just the Omega moon watch we all know and love. <laughs>